All the fees, naming shipping fee, commission fee, and transaction fee, Shopee is charging you around. Hello all! If you are a Shopee seller or planning to sell on Shopee this Q4 or next year, this video is for you. Today, we're going to talk about Shopee fees, and I will give sample transactions for much better understanding. I will break down the different fees and how to compute each of them, so you know exactly what you're paying for and why. Knowing Shopee fees is super important for sellers like you on Shopee. It helps you figure out how much you're spending and how much money you are making. That way, you can decide how much you charge for your items, which is a big deal for selling stuff online. It also means you can budget and not spend too much. So, if sellers understand all these fees, you will have an advantage from other sellers. You will maximize your profit and grow your online shop really well. Let's start. For example, a buyer bought your item product Y for $9.99. This is the total buyer payment. Let's break it down. $9.99 for product Y and $1.75 for the shipping assuming product Y is less than 1 kilogram. And buyer didn't use any vouchers and didn't redeem any coins. So the total buyer payment is $11.74. On the seller side, we will see how much you as the seller will receive after all the deductions and fees. So, the product price is $9.99. Shipping fee paid by seller is $2.31 based from the shipping fee rates of Shopee, assuming the product is less than 1 kilogram. Here goes the different fees and charges. Shopee have three fees, the commission fee, transaction fee, and service fee. As you can see, there is no service fee here. I will show you later a transaction with service fee and I will explain to you what is a service fee. For this transaction, you only have the commission fee and transaction fee. Because you didn't join the cashback program or the free shipping program from Shopee. If you join any of these campaigns, you will be charged with an additional service fee. So for this transaction, we have the first fee, which is the commission fee. Commission fee is an amount charged to all Shopee sellers who have been registered on Shopee for 90 days or more, based on the price of a product. For non-mall sellers, which is the ordinary seller, you will not be charged with commission fee for the first 3 months you sell in Shopee, if ever you make a sale. And for the old sellers, 2.16% is the commission fee every time you make a sale. There is also a cap depending on the category you are selling, as shown in this table. How do we calculate commission fee? Commission fee is item price times 2% plus 8% GST. Based on our sample transaction, product Y is $9.99 with no seller vouchers and no Shopee vouchers deduction. We will multiply by 2.16%. Our commission fee is 0 0.22 cents. For the next fee, the transaction fee. Transaction fee is a handling fee charged to Shopee sellers on successful transactions made through all forms of payment, including but not limited to credit card, debit card, credit card installment plan, Shopee Pay, Pay Now, and more. The transaction fee is 2% of the final payment amount, including shipping fee paid by a buyer. After deducting any discounts from Shopee vouchers or Shopee coins applied, it will be rounded up to the nearest cent. Based on our sample transaction, product Y is $9.99 plus the buyer's fee, and we multiply by 2% transaction fee. Then, the result, we will multiply with the current GST which is 8%. And the final transaction fee is $0.25. Cents. After all the fees have been deducted, the income you will be getting is $7.21. So after all the fees, naming shipping fee, commission fee, and transaction fee, Shopee is charging you around 28%. Now, 
if you join Shopee's cashback program and free shipping program, another fee will be deducted from you, which is the service fee. Service fee is an amount charged by Shopee for the services provided to sellers who signed up for the cashback program and the free shipping program. Sellers are charged a percentage of the cost of goods sold on an item level when an order is placed. This percentage is based on the category of the product you sell and any program you are in. I have never joined any of these programs as based from my experience. They are too expensive and not worth it. One time, I was just forced or was automatically opt-in last year, August, when Shopee put all the sellers in the cashback program, where opting out will take two weeks, so they are deducting service fee to your income for two weeks also. After that, I always monitor my income for these fees. If you were to ask me, don't join any of these programs. They are expensive and not worth it. Instead, you can opt for Shopee ads, which is more effective. We've broken down the essential details about Shopee fees to help you identify and understand the cost involved in selling on this popular e-commerce platform. As a Shopee seller, it's crucial to keep these fees in mind when planning, your pricing strategy, and budget. This knowledge will help you to make informed financial decisions on your online business, aside some of the other operational costs when running an e-commerce business these fees that I have mentioned must be taken into account also, so you can decide on what is the best price of your products to maximize your revenue. Don't let the fees discourage you. With proper planning and focus on delivering value to your customers, you can still achieve success on Shopee while managing these fees effectively. Thank you for watching this video. If you find this helpful, please show your support by giving it a thumbs up and considering a subscription to our channel. Your support is greatly appreciated. Until our next video, continue to work hard, learn, and grow your e-commerce business. We look forward to seeing you in the upcoming content. Take care!